hurts because I need some food. I'm so hungry. I thought I was going to pass out. I'm very obsessed with my weight. And I'm obsessed about what I eat. How long are you planning going? Mm. Like, how much like, weight are you planning on losing? I'm just going to go until I like how I look. I'm determined to be a model, and if I have to be skinny to be a model, I will be. No, it's, I don't want to be disqualified because, like, I have an Yeah. yeah. This is hell. No, it's not. I don't consider myself bulimic because I don't throw up after everything I eat. But just people are like, oh my god, Cassie is bulimic here, she's throwing up. But I, I can't even remember the last time I threw up. Even if you did or when you go home or whatever, is this bad on your health? Yeah. I have an obsession with my weight. That's the problem. I'm not bulimic though. I have grown up dreaming of being a model. And, I, and great, there's plus size models, but that's not for me. But I don't want to talk about it anymore and I don't want anyone else talking about it anymore really. Cassie. She's got a cute young look. She might be a little bit. She's not exactly size two. I think that your thighs are a little big for this dress. I'm going to have you walk in it with the zipper open. I think the biggest concern with Cassie for me was um, the size of her hips. I just want to measure your thighs just to see where we're at. Normally we like about no more than 35. I still want to be America's Next Top Model, and I'm still going to give 110% when I'm in front of that camera. Yes. Which is a good thing, not a bad thing. Smart guys, too big. The other doesn't seem like they want to be here at all. Because I don't think I have what it takes to be a top model.